we have a really large challenge right now with um, making it easy for people to charge who live in apartments. It's a large percentage of the US population that lives in apartments and condominiums or otherwise can't charge at home. Depending on what part of the country you're in, it can be easily half the population. Um, and we really need to make electric vehicles accessible for those people. So there's a little bit of burning on this side right by the prong. If we lived in a place where we could plug in in the garage, we would plug this right into the wall, but because we don't, this is where we plug into the extension cord. We're not supposed to park in our driveway, but the only way that we can charge more safely is to use a shorter extension cord that's thicker gauge. but luckily I made it here, but now I just had to wait a couple hours to even use it, because I can't go any further. We're installing uh, le uh, level two chargers for EVs on city facilities, on power poles, on street light poles, at public libraries, uh, throughout several facilities that are accessible to the public. Um, we're seeing a really good uptake in the lead up to you know California's all EV regulation, and and you know we hope to as a utility and as a city to continue supporting that.